History Shift presents Recat vs. Atlantis Part 2 Narration by Russ Allen from Brothers of the Serpent Podcast Welcome back for Part 2. Please like, subscribe, and follow us. Check us out on Twitter as well as Instagram at History Shift. In this second presentation, we will focus on other measurements, again, based solely on Plato's dialogues in comparison to the Recat structure just in case you weren't already convinced by our first video. We hope that our presentations will encourage more people to do research for themselves and make up their own minds when discussing topics like this. We are only human, we all make mistakes, and we should be freely open to any and all discussions, so please leave your comments below. Enjoy. Let's review. In our last video, we showed that based solely on Plato's dialogues, that according to Solon's account, Atlantis was 28 stadia in diameter, or 3.5 miles across. The recat structure is 20 miles wide, and the center structure alone is over 3 miles wide. It's just way too big. Therefore, we should find more inconsistencies from Plato's dialogues to the recat structure. Getting started, back to Plato. This time we will focus on this passage. And beginning from the sea... They bored a canal of 300 feet in width and 100 feet in depth and 50 stadia in length. Remember that a stadia is 660 feet. This places the canal that ran from the sea to Atlantis 50 stadia away or 6.25 miles away from the ocean. So, just how far away from the ocean is the recat structure? Location, location, location. First off, the RECAT currently sits roughly 344 miles away from the Atlantic, not 6.25. We imagine it would be very difficult for an island to sink and then move itself 344 miles inland to a completely different continent. What other evidence can we look at? Elevation, of course. According to ESA.int, the dark area forms a plateau of sedimentary rock standing some 200 meters above the surrounding desert sands, with the peak of the outer rim of the structure some 485 meters above sea level. This means that the recat varies in elevation because of topography to between 656 feet and 1,591 feet above sea level. What else does Plato tell us of the area around Atlantis? But the country immediately around and surrounding the city was a level plain, itself surrounded by mountains, which descended towards the sea. It was smooth and even, and of an oblong shape, extending in one direction 3,000 stadia, but across the center island it was 2,000 stadia. This picture is the area said to be that plain. So how do the numbers stack up? How big is it versus how big the plain that Plato speaks of? The plain, boss. The plain. Plato's northern measurement is 375 miles. Recat, roughly 180 miles. Versus 250 miles across to the southern end, the recat roughly measures only 152 miles. Now we have size, distance, and elevation. What else is there, then? Tectonic plate movements. Hopefully, everyone is familiar with the tectonic plates. When they meet, one can go under the other. This can happen very slowly and is called subduction. The main point here is that the northern African plate is actually in a subduction zone or going under the European plate. This means the recat is now, very slowly, sinking. Let's review and you decide. Plato's Atlantis versus the recat structure. Total diameter of Atlantis, 3.5 miles. Total diameter of recat over 20 miles. Distance to ocean from Atlantis, 6.25 miles. Recat's distance from the ocean is 344 miles. Plain dimensions of Plato's Atlantis, 375 miles north and 250 miles to the south. Rough measurements of a plateau north of the recat are 180 miles north and 150 miles south. Hopefully after watching these two videos, you have more questions, and that's a good thing. There is much more evidence out there to be found. If you're interested, please do some research and let us know what you think below. 
This is certainly a beautiful place full of wonder. We need to get a team out there and do some excavations, but as far as Plato and us, it's no Atlantis. Thank you so much for your time. History is shifting and we are along for the ride. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for recent videos by History Shift and many others who follow the path to truth. Find us on Instagram and Twitter at History Shift.